Hey everyone, what's up? Today I'm going to design a website for my friend. I have a friend called Omar. I don't know if you remember last year I went on a photo shoot to take some photos for my own portfolio and Omar was with me and we were taking photos of him as well and I promised him I will create his website a simple kind of one pager that'll be like an online business card but a year has passed and I never got the time to do this and so I want to do this today I really feel bad about it he's pinging me about this all the time and I want to do this now usually my design process and I've shared this with you previously usually I design in sketch and then I develop the websites with Webflow but this is such a simple website and I really I don't want to spend too much time on it. So I think I'm just going to get started and design it within Webflow itself. So I have this kind of a basic idea. Let's see if you can see this. Um, it's kind of a split screen, you know, uh, where he, here there's his image and here's some details about him. And because he's doing so many things, um, I kind of have this idea, you know, this there's a script that's called Type.js um, that you can see it here. Maybe I'll reload this that you can actually see Kind of the type being uh, typed on the screen so i was thinking about maybe doing something omer is this and then it's re retyped into he's also this and this and this so i kind of think this will be a cool effect and because the website is so simple this will kind of make the website a little bit more alive a little bit more engaging i can put in some little jokes inside so i have this kind of a basic concept for it I'm just gonna go in and do this hopefully i'll be doing this within one or two hours. So let's rock and roll and see how this comes out. All right, so the process took me about one hour and a half. I did took a small lunch break in the middle, uh, but the website is now done and let me show you how it turned out. So basically this is the layout that I wanted. It's kind of a split screen. Here we have the title and it's always changing with something that's called type JS, which I'll show you in a minute how I've integrated. And here we have kind of like a little text, the logos of the companies, contact icons and some press element. And obviously the website is fully responsive and actually the text animation also works nicely on mobile. So this was fairly easy to do. So to first of all, to let's see how the layout is done. So basically we have here um, two main elements. So we have the content side and the image side. They're both uh, set up inside of a, a wrapper, which is Flexbox. And, and that way I can you know, change the, the layout on mobile very easily. And what we have here, this is again, another flex element. If you've seen yesterday's video, then you know that all those elements are arranged in a flex so that I'll be able to really easily align them in any way that I want. In this case, I want them to be justified end to end and I can add or remove icons here and the space between them will still be equal. Um, we have those icon with a little bit of hover interaction. And in order to do the type animation, I had to integrate a little bit of custom code. So every time I do that, um, I search Google how if anybody ever did this in, in Webflow. And so I, I typed type JS, which is the, the plugin that does this in Webflow and it turned out that somebody already did this, already kind of made a tutorial and a clonable project. So I've basically opened this up and cloned this and just copy pasted the, the element that make this. So there is basically a wrapper here and then you're adding a little bit of a code, custom code here, a little bit of code to the head tag and a little bit of code to the body tag. Now, don't really have to be a developer to understand that, you know, this is, this is the, uh, style of the element that is being typed and this is what the text is changing to for so this is the first one is an entrepreneur for 30 um, 350 milliseconds then we have a consultant and then I just typed here everything that I wanted and I, the duration and the speed that I wanted that was really fairly easy to do and I think the result is pretty cool I'll show this to Omar soon see what he'll, um, he'll think about this 
So again, I think this is pretty uh, crazy that you can do something like this within 90 minutes, start to finish of a project, make this a really fun and easy process. Today is the last day of my promo for the new Webflow Masterclass. So this is probably the last time that you're going to be hearing about this from me in the in the last in the next few videos. I hope you didn't get an overdose of Webflow during the last months. I've been so into this that I've been producing a lot of content about this, but this is probably going to be the last one. But today is the last day. So check the link in the description if you're considering this and I will see you tomorrow. Thank you.